a mega marketing machine. What is that? Hi, I'm Amy Calandrino and I'm founder and CEO of Beyond Commercial. I wanted to talk a little bit about marketing and how it has to do with commercial real estate, specifically what I have to do. What's interesting about my company is actually we maintain two pipelines. Um, so first and foremost is our pipeline of potential deals um, or clients in which we can serve and help them to find a solution to achieve the results that they're looking for, whether they're looking to acquire, dispose of, lease of, or whatever it is, we will come up with a one size fits one solution. But from a marketing perspective, we have to get our messaging out so we can attract the right people for us to represent. But when it comes to commercial real estate, if we do get someone who needs to lease out or dispose of their asset, we have to think about there's a whole nother uh, pipeline in which we need to think about who are we trying to market to, who's the right fit for this property, who is that avatar, so that we can curate and customize our marketing to fit that need. I really feel that that's what differentiates um, beyond commercial from other companies in that it's really not when it comes to coming up with a solution for our clients it's a one-size-fits-one and then when it comes to the property and visualizing and understanding the area and knowing who we're gonna mark to is the same type of solution we've had a lot of before I go into the nitty-gritty but I'll take for instance I had this really cool ghost kitchen space that was in Castleberry I just knew that it could be an amazing commissary kitchen. How am I going to find a brand in Orlando that needs to expand? Well, we went on the Orlando Foodie Forum, and the next thing we know, we're marketing this space. We had put together an incredible marketing package with world-class photos, all the different things, and we were able to find a brand that needed a commissary kitchen. And that could be a great strategy for a retail business, and we were able to position that, but as such, we were actually able to achieve record-breaking rent for our client. And so I wanted to give you a little bit of an example before I kind of go into the details as far as marketing is concerned. And so I think, again, commercial real estate, you have a very niche audience. And so we have to understand what specific industry and who we are getting to the right thing. We have such diverse property types, especially when it comes to my firm where we're looking for good operators or um, certain investor clientele to work with. We may work on land, we may work on retail, we may work on office, we may work on industrial, and all of them requires like some creative marketing solutions. And so working with different asset classes requires that. I think um, changing market trends and just understanding we may need to shift our marketing accordingly. And so what are some great strategies for commercial real estate marketing? Well, I think first and foremost, I want to get people really narrowed in on the property that we have. And so that, that comes into play by having really great videography as well as photography and people are visual people. You want it to be visually appealing and catch the eye of who you're working with. You can come with the best marketing copy possible, but you also have to position visually the asset in the correct light. I think having a detailed property listing, we want to include all the details and so that someone can visualize themselves in that particular space. Having a strong online presence, I think we syndicate to something like 20 different platforms. And so if you're, you, we are our properties are going to be found and having that strong online presence. And so also networking, I've been known to have open houses for my listings and and do different things and constantly have conversations with my peers and have a, an email list to market to my different peers. Content marketing, having blogs, um, video blogs, even like the one I'm talking to you went on, or having different um, infographics or different things can help to attract the right clientele. As far as email marketing is concerned, I think we can also uh, utilize that to get out specific blasts to those who are looking to do. And so it is a multi-pronged approach. It's also an iterative approach. We may have a listing and we don't feel like it's getting the traction that it should based on our experience handling a similar property type. Then we're giving it another look and we are then customizing 
and uh, coming up with new solutions to keep it moving forward. It's all about momentum, I found, and getting that critical momentum comes as a result of having the right marketing. So that's my bit on marketing. Hi, I'm Amy Calandrino. I am founder and CEO of Beyond Commercial. Thanks for tuning in to our latest Beyond Your Space Needs, and I am signing off.